Hello, welcome to Cherry Streams. Click, 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 click. Headphones in. We can get started with doing some more optimization problems. I'm quite enjoying this game here. All right, loading up. There we are. All right, but up. I spent a little bit of time down here in, uh, I cleared up a couple of these optimization problems. I could not figure out how to get this one any smaller or any more efficient. I really don't know what's going on. So I'll have to come back to that one, maybe see how other people figured it out. But for now, we're gonna move on. Let me know how audio is, as usual. Employee morale is for sure. <laughs> and that, ladies, is how I saved a bundle on my long distance telephone service. <laughs> Back to work, everyone. <laughs> massive army of machines has surrounded the city. The machines are not moving, and they are not communicating. Local authorities are investigating. Well, um, I think we can ignore that safely and just keep doing our work. So let's look at the exclusive lounge before we move on to... Well, wait, it says 16, 17. Let's do 16 first. Absolute positivity. <laughs> See, this guy needs a voice. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Positive attitudes were determined to increase productivity and are now therefore mandatory. Smile! Management is watching. Send each thing from the inbox to the outbox, but if a number is negative, first remove its negative sign. Oh dear. That is an interesting puzzle with what I have. Okay, well, first inbox. Jump if negative, and then outbox. So that counts everything that's positive. But how do you turn a negative number into a positive number if you only have addition and subtraction? Well... Let's see how efficient this is. I, I kind of doubt this will be efficient at all. I'm going to take my number. I'm going to copy to one, or yeah, zero first. And then I am going to copy to one. And I'm going to subtract zero. So it's gonna be a negative number minus itself, so it'll go back to zero. And then I'm going to subtract one. That'll be zero minus the negative number. It will be the positive positive number and then that goes to the outbox. Then we just need to repeat. And uh, that should do it. Let's, let's see if it plays. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, right. I missed an inbox. My mistake. Inbox. another jump to go back to here, and then you do the check. There we go. Alright. Got a zero. Okay. Hang on. We're gonna stop that. We don't need the second copy to. We just need to subtract from zero twice. 
Bam. There we go. Now let's see. I don't need to check for zero. Yep, zero is just sort of a number. Bloop. Bloop. There we go. That's a little loud for me. I mean. Hey, I got the speed challenge at least. Size challenge, remove one of the commands. Huh. I'll come back to that later. I'm more interested in seeing everything first. All right, so exclusive lounge. Yes, I have always felt most comfortable with nice, cold, logical decisions. Emotional decisions are for the weak. Okay, what do we got here? This assignment is a bo basic Boolean logic operation. It's called Zor, or Xor. Exclusive or Armed with this new information, you may research independently, if you like. Wish I could talk to these guys. Alright. So, we got two things in the inbox for each two things. Send a zero if they have the same sign. Send a one if the signs are different. Okay. Well. Hmm. That's why we have these numbers down here. We should not touch them. That's that's what we're pulling from. So how do we check if the signs are the same? Hmm. Especially with all of this, these things here. We don't have too many pieces to play with. Well. We, of course, need to start with an inbox, and then we need to copy to zero, and then we need to get the inbox again, so we have both numbers. Um, Well, we got an if negative. So I guess we could just check each is negative. So let's see, if I say Our second number if we jump is negative. So if it is negative, then we check if and we blah blah blah. blah, 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 blah. So this is like a four way check. Um, that is exactly what it is. That's what the exclusive or is. Man, having to write this is going to be anno annoying. Um, Alright. So I'm going to need another is negative that goes this way. So if the first number, the one that you're holding, is negative, then you need to copy from zero. And then if that one is negative, we copy from, and let's see, Z 
easier. We copy from four. Okay, so that's one case, but they are both negative. If, however, it is positive, um, you want to still copy from zero. This is tricky. All right, let's back up. Let's not do that one yet. So let's do if the first one is negative and the second one is positive, then we copy from five. And we need to outbox. Box and jump back to start. All right. So what if the sec the first one is positive? Well, we'll need to do a jump. All right. If the first one is positive, we copy from zero, and then we're going to need to do. A backwards jump, I think. Let's just get it, get it something working first. We're gonna jump all the way down here, and we're going to go jump at negative, like so. And so, if the first one is positive and the second one is negative, we want to output one. Copy from five and outbox. And if we do it the other way, we want to copy from four outbox. And we need another jump right there. Uh, let's move that jump this way to save a step. There we go. Okay, let's step through this and see if it's playing out properly. Let's see where the error happens. Eight, okay. Minus two, all right, so. Bam. Oh, hang on, hang on, I stopped. I missed a jump, I think. Let's see here. I got the first one, right? down, and I don't have a jump. I, sh I need a jump after every outbox. That's what happened. Do -do -do -do. Right here. This one needs to go back up to the beginning. So let me check here. Ah, this one also is missing an outbox jump. So I'll just put that here. There we go. Now we've got all of them back in the beginning, we can see what happens. Oh, no, stop, 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 idiot. I have missed a thing. I have messed up a jump here. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm just gonna have to step through this real quick here. All right, inbox. Okay, we get our second number. If it is not, if it is negative, you jump. If not, get the zero. Okay. So we know that the first one was positive. Now it's jumping to ah. Here we go. I made an infinite loop that needs to go there instead of the other way around. Try again. Nine. I 
Okay, I think we got this. It did an error at me. Twelve or fewer commands. Wow. I'm not very optimized at the moment. I'll come back and think about this one later. Sabbatical Beach Paradise. Ah. Take a sip of your tea. Your water. Welcome back. Ticky ticky ticky. Time keeps ticking down. Let's get to work. Oh, yes. I love what you've done with your hair. <clears throat> What's the secret to eternal youth? Enjoying your work, feeling important, and proper sunscreen application. <clears throat> right. Oh, we've got bump. Bump bump. For each number in the inbox, send that number to the outbox. Followed by all numbers down to or up to zero? Okay, wait a minute. Okay, so bump is adding one, and bump minus is subtracting one. Okay, I have to see how this works real quick. From an item on the floor. All right, so let's just copy to zero and then try a bump. Zero. And then a bump minus zero, just to see what I end up with. I'm just gonna step through here. All right, so you copy. Bump plus. All right, so it it adds the number and then and then just picks it up. And then bump minus is the same thing backwards. Okay. Well, that's relatively simple. So I just take inbox, I copy to zero, um, we can just put it down, just go outbox, and then we check F negative, no. We need to check if negative first. That will determine if we're bumping up or bumping down. So, check if negative. Like this. And then we need a check if zero in here. Because so if we don't have the check if zero, it will go until infinity. We don't want that. Um, so I'm put this up here, like so. And I'm gonna put this up here, like so. That way the last thing it does is outbox zero, and then it goes back to the inbox. Okay, so now... Ooh. Uh, can't do that. Well, I can. There. So, first thing, it'll jump over the initial outbox and go that way. 
This is the same as if I went outbox up, but you do it in less steps because you don't trigger this jump every time you go through it. Really interesting. All right, so we copy and we check if it's negative. So if it is not negative, we outbox, then we bump minus zero and then we outbox let's see we do, 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 do. oh there's my jump of zero so we if it's positive we throw it in the outbox we bump zero bump minus zero so we get the next number down then we need to check if it's zero if it is jump back to the beginning, outbox, inbox. If it is not, we need to go Ah, actually, if it's not zero, we jump back this way. Bam. And then it'll continue that until we get hit zero, and we'll go back up here. Now, if negative, it's the same thing. Outbox, bump plus zero, jump if zero, and like so. Bam. All right, so eight. So long one. Seven. So I'm just gonna speed this up. This is, this is five, four, three, two, one, zero. There we go. Uh-oh. What happened? Let me step back here. What's going on? Okay. So, negative two. We're doing a bump plus. Negative one. It is now zero, it will outbox. Inbox. Oh, we've got a zero. Well, it's not negative. I see. So I need a F zero statement checked here. Okay, so I'm just gonna go jump F zero right here. Shouldn't matter. No? No, this will save me a couple steps. So if I do get a zero, it will immediately put it in the outbox and I don't have to copy it or anything. Alright, let's try that again. Four, three, two, one, zero. That'll do. Hey, I beat the speed challenge at least. When I come back for the size challenge, I need to remove four commands. Okay, multiplication. Do we get a multiplication command? Or. <clears throat> it seems like yesterday we were learning about adding. Fond memories. We worked so hard back then. I hope you enjoy your new label maker. I personally prefer to, to label just about everything. Copy to four? What? What does that even mean? Just stick a label on it and you'll never need to use numbers again. I have also labeled my sandwich. So now you know which one not to eat. You're welcome. Oh. Alright, so for each two things in the inbox, multiply them. And outbox the result. Don't worry about negative numbers for now. Um... Okay? 
they didn't give me anything new. I just have to multiply two numbers together. So that's... Eh. Okay. Uh, is that just... I can just drag over... Oh, I can just click on it. Okay, never mind. I can label anything. I don't really feel like labeling things right now. I know what's going on, but we'll, if things get more complicated, we'll label them. <sighs> hmm. I'm kind of curious as how to even start this one. Like... I'm multiplying two things, but I only have add and subtract, and I can't keep my memory. Like... What? Actually, rather stumped. I don't know where to start with this. Um, huh. I mean, you have to copy two, obviously. Um, and then get the second number. Um, hmm. loss. I don't feel like I have the tools right now to do a multiplication. It feels like I'm missing a piece. Hmm. stalling for comedic effect. I am actually stumped. It's like... I could... I can add any number of times, but there's no... There's no way for me to check what a number is and then add that many times the other number. Okay, it's gonna be with this these new bumps. I'm using I'm gonna have to use the bump minus to go backwards and then check F0. So I copy to zero, then I copy to one. Now I have my two numbers on the floor. I'm just going to keep it simple and have zero be my yeah, let's let's label it. This will be my. Oh, I can't even remember the terms here. Zero will be my multiplier. X. No, zero will be my number. Number. This will be my multiplier. All right, really scribbly there. So here's what we do. 
we check if zero initially. Uh, ooh, we're gonna need to check both if zero. Um, because we know zero times zero is just zero. Um, so we need to check both F zero, otherwise the rest of the logic won't work. So So I'm gonna put a jump F zero and a jump F zero here. Um, and this will just outbox zero. So, if I was multiplying only numbers with zero, this would work. But I am not. So, what I need to do is I am copy I copy the number and I copy the multiplier. Now I'm going to check the multiplier. Um, I might need to do a bump. I'm going to do a bump first. So I'm going to bump the multiplier, and ow, ow, ow. if the multiplier is 0, then we, if the multiplier is 0, we copy from the number, right, and we outbox the number. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, because once the multiplier is zero, we know that we have we have added enough times. If it is not zero, we're going to bump. No, we're going to copy from number, and we are going to add number. Then we jump back up to do 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 do. Let's step through it and see how the logic plays out. Alright, so copy our first number, copy our second number. Okay. okay, so the first thing we do, this should equal 3. So we bump minus the multiplier, 2, and then we add, add those together. Ooh, um, I need a count, actually, because I'm going to lose this number, and I'm going to, and I can't copy it back here. So I need to put a result here. Result. Okay, so once I do my add, that's this one right here, I need to copy to result. Then I can jump back up, bump the multiplier, and I actually need to Copy the, let's see here. So I have the number and the result and blah, 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 and 
add the number to the number. So I actually need to copy from not the number, but from the result. Add the result to the number, or add the number to the result, and copy the copy that back to result. Okay. Let's just let it play here. Okay, so we have our number and our result. Fine. Okay, we bump it. 14, copy it down there. Bump it. Okay, it's not zero. 21, bump it. Bump it. Pop it. Swish it. 35. Bam. Oh, hold on. Stop, stop, stop. That's easy enough. All I need to do is go to this one. Copy from number. I instead want to copy from result. Okay, let's see how it works. Eight, all right. Got a couple of zeros there, good. No problem. Okay, what happened there? Was it because the multiplier didn't change? Let's see here. I think the uh, zeros gummed up my works. Let's see what happened. Okay, so the first two, perfectly fine. Alright, so we had a jump if zero outbox. An inbox, that's also zero. That's fine. So next, inbox. So we copy six to number, six to result. Oh, my mistake. Stop. It threw two zeros in, but it threw them incorrectly. Um, So, I need to do the jump F0 later, because I need to check both of them. That was what gum gummed up the works, so... Uh, if the multiplier is 0, then that's fine. Actually, everything else should work fine, too. It's just going to keep adding 0 to 0, which will be 0. It's a long, drawn-out process, but it will do it. Yeah, see? Bam. That's the way. Hey, I did it in the proper number of commands. 139 steps. I could, if I can figure out the, a good way to do a zero check on the number, then I could probably reduce the number of steps. But then I give up the length of the, the code. And that's no good. All right, let's go to Fibonacci. Ah, Fibonacci. What a lovely word. A nice sequence. This back hallway is for advanced employees only. Are you sure you want to be here? These night shift assignments are optional, you know. 
and they are difficult. If you need to ask for help, I'll just be here looking through these catalogs for a golden spiral. What's a Fibonacci sequence? It says so over here. Each number in the sequence is the sum of the two numbers just before it. The first two numbers are 1 and 1. So the third number is 1 plus 1 equals 2. The fourth is 3. The fifth is 5. The sixth is 8. And it goes on for a while. Forever, really. Shall we continue? Let's we'll leave that as an exercise for you. Back to work. Alright, so what do they even want here? Uh, for each inbox, send to the outbox the full se the sequence to, but not exceeding, that value. Ah. Okay. That is a pickle. So we want to continuously check if Ah, uh, hmm, e, er. Um, hmm. Given values 10 and 19, we will only ever get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 of the slots. That is perfectly fine. Um, huh. puzzle this one and come back to it actually. I'm gonna work on zero terminated sum first. Cause that sounds like fun, right? <clears throat> ah yes, much much fewer things to work with. Yes, we believe in educating our employees on the job here. Yeah? Do you know that is what a zero terminated string is? Yes, it is a very old technique and we don't expect you to know. So you may ask me about it if you like. Or you may ask an external source. Whatever helps you get the job done. So, what is a zero terminated string? Yes, I can tell you. A string is just a list of values. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Or 4, 9, 9, 2. But how do we know with when a string ends and another string begins. We can mark the end of a string with something special, like a zero. Here are two zeros terminated strings. One, two, three, zero, nine, eight, zero. See how that works? And sometimes a string can be empty. Here are three strings. Notice that the middle one is empty. One, two, three, zero, zero, five, zero. And yes, sadly, that Vessel means a string cannot contain the number zero, since zero means something special. Well, now we know. Back to work! Okay, so, uh, inbox is filled with zero terminated strings. Add together all the numbers in each string. Okay, when you reach the end of a string, marked by a zero, Put the sum in the outbox. Oh, well, that's much easier. All you do is you take the inbox. We're going to copy to, say, zero. And then we're going to go inbox. Ah. 
we have to assume that zero is empty. So we need to check if zero immediately. Like so. All right. So inbox, if it's not zero, copy to this spot on the floor. I'll just mark it as result. Bam. Then we have the second inbox. We need to check that if it's zero. If this is zero, then we copy from the result and we outbox it. Bam. Then we jump back up to the beginning, like so. If it is not zero, that's this section in here, that is not jump. Like that if jump is kind of unusual. It, it feels backwards somehow. I, I can't like put it into words. It feels like I should be checking if is not zero if I'm doing this jump or something. But eh, whatever. So if the second number is not zero, we will just add it. Add it to the result. And then we need to do another jump. Back up here. And we keep going until we have reached a zero. And we'll copy and blah blah. I think that's it. Let's test and debug here. Seven. Okay, it's not zero. We got that together. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on. I need to copy the result to the result. Three, eight plus three, and squish it there. There we go. Zero, and bam. There we go. Okay. Put a five down. Put that down. There we go. All right. So far, so good. Now we have an empty one. It checks if it's zero. Oh, hang on. No, actually, that was correct. Okay. The, since zero means empty string, we're not adding anything, so. Then we have one nice long string here. to me? What happened? Am I just supposed to outbox the zeros? I mean, that's not hard. Um, I can just go there. speed challenge at least. We'll probably figure out where that size challenge should be. Alright, let's keep going up instead of visiting Fibonacci. I think I'll do those four on the next uh, next session here. To reduce our carbon footprint, management is requesting the smallest numbers only. 
Don't know why I keep going to this this voice for these guys. This is a public relations exercise. The results are going straight to the landfill. Hang on. Excuse me. Mm. If you want to buy a sandwich, and there are 10 sandwiches listed on the menu, and you don't have much money because of poor financial decisions, how do you find the least expensive sandwich? Don't ask me. I bring my own lunch. Peanut butter and jelly. Okay, so... For each zero terminated string in the inbox, send to the outbox only the smallest number you have seen in that string. You'll never be given an empty string reset and repeat for each string. Okay... Um... Huh. So it's... Alright, we need to compare each... Alright, I have an idea for this one. So we're gonna copy to... One. And we are going to... Uh, oh, but, uh, we need both numbers. So we're going to copy to... One. So now we have the first two numbers. We are going to compare them by subtracting one of them. And then we check if it's negative. If the if it is not negative, that means that the copy to one is the larger number. So what we want to do is we want to copy from one copy to zero, and then jump back to there. If it is negative, yes, okay, if it is negative, that means that this one is the larger number. And so we copy from No, actually that, if that is the larger number we copy we don't need to copy. We just leave it as is. Then we copy to one and continue. Now we need to go until we hit a zero. Since we're never given an empty string, we can check a zero here, like so. And once we do that, we copy from zero, outbox the thing, and then jump back all the way to the stop start. And that's our little loop. Tested. So, copy to zero, copy to one, do a subtraction. All right, it's positive, so we're gonna put 10 there. Okay, put that down, bam, it's negative. Put that in, I got it backwards. We're looking for the smallest number, not the largest number. So I just need to do this. So instead of Here, get the zero. 
but I have gotten it backwards. If do do do. So let me step forward here. We're looking for the smallest number. Click, click. There. Okay, so now we're subtracting. Bam. Now it's not negative, which means we want the smaller one. In this case, four. Right now it's going to copy from one and go on. So we want to do it the other way. So la la da da. So we need this copy from copy two to be here instead. And the jump if negative is this jump. There we go. And now we need another jump to there. So that we keep getting numbers. Let's try that again. Eight. Okay, positive number. Don't do anything. Eight is the smaller one. Negative number. Okay, we're gonna put that one there. Good. We found the zero, got the one. Speed this up a little bit here. It should just keep. There we go. Not bad. Hey, I was only one one command off. I was a lot of steps off though. Come back to. I might just optimize these things off stream, but we'll see. All right. Only little... What is the purpose of this assignment? Uh, I'm asking you. I think it's something about calculating the volume beneath staircases. We have to put the intern somewhere. We have a vast stairwell here. Oh, did you take the elevator? Well, nice of you to show up. Alright, for each thing in the inbox, outbox the sum of itself plus all numbers down to zero. Ah. Hmm. 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 Okay, well, I guess that's not too hard. We need to copy to zero and to one. And I'll just label this one counter. Also going to need no no wait hang on I know how to do this so we're just adding the numbers um, we bump minus the counter that copies it to your hand then you add to zero like so and we need to copy to Zero. Um, we need a check F zero, like so, and then we outbox that. Jump back up this way, and yes, is that it? Oh, 
happened was it hit zero and then it outboxed. I don't want to outbox zero, I want to outbox what's in. Space zero. That should do it. Three, six, bam. Okay. Oh, oh, no, stop, stop, stop. I was just gonna keep going if it's zero. Um, uh, wait, 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 wait. I will, since I have a zero here, I'm going to jump up negative. Copy from five, which is a zero. No, 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 what am I doing? I just need to check if zero initially, and then you can just sort of outbox zero. Third. What was happening is it was going down, and the numbers was always going to be negative because I kicked the count. Bam, bam, bam. All done. Hey, there's the size challenge. Hey, and the speed challenge. I'm going to have to come back to this one. I feel smart. Okay, so, uh, as expected, we started... No, oh, no. We've done a number of these. We'll see. We, like, last time we did one through... Uh, all the way up to... 14 here. And then we've done 16 through 25. So, we are slowing down slightly, but... Uh, Still, still doing good pace. I think I'm going to stop there. It's been about an hour of number uh, manipulating. We've got quite a bit going on up here, don't we? Wow. Good guys, those tomorrow corporations. What up? And what up? So, uh, this has been. Cherry Streams Human Resource Machine Part 2. Thank you for watching, and uh, cheers. I'll see you next time.